Hey everyone, it's Fahim from Subscriber, Contractor, Founder of Medlearn. I have a really, really exciting video today for you and I'm going to be showing you step by step how you open up a community pharmacy. Now these hairs have gone white and as a 30 year old, I don't think that they should be white, but everything I've gone through, I'm going to be sharing everything with you today. Now, so we don't miss out on anything, so you don't miss out on anything, make sure you subscribe, like and share the YouTube channel and leave your comments in the section below because I want to help you to build a better world. Now, let me just have a look at what we're entiring or what we will end up covering in this video series. So the title is gonna be how to open up a community pharmacy in the UK. And we're going to break this down into different series. It's not going to be delivered in one day. It's going to be step by step series. So essentially what I want to cover is I want to explain to you, first of all, why you should set up a pharmacy. And that's the video today. Why you set one up. We're going to discuss the pros. We're going to discuss the cons. Then what we're going to be discussing is whether you should buy a pharmacy or you should set up an existing pharmacy. Rather, you should. Let me rephrase that. Let's start again. Video number two is going to explain to you, should you buy a pharmacy that's already set up or should you set one up from scratch right from the start? So that's the question I get asked all the time, Fahim, should I set one up right from the start? Should I buy an existing pharmacy? We're going to be covering everything for you. I personally actually set one up from scratch. So I'm going to be going through the things that I think are important and also a bit about acquiring a pharmacy business as well. So that's important so I don't actually forget what I've got to cover and Farouk won't be too happy about that. Uh, number three is going to be calculating the value of a pharmacy. Because if you are going to buy a pharmacy, you have to think about how much that pharmacy is worth. Hello, I can see that some people are making videos of me as I'm making the video itself. We can get them in the video series as well, so they're a bit happy as well. You can say hello, great, fantastic. So we're gonna be discussing how to calculate the value of a pharmacy. Then it's the video that all you want or you want to watch that is the step-by-step -step breakdown how do I open up a community pharmacy from a business plan all the way to putting in an application change of ownership GPHC the PSNC reading accounts you name it we are going to absolutely cover it from start to finish it's going to be amazing it's going to be brilliant and you guys are going to enjoy it more than I think more than I will because I have to follow a script I have to learn and so on you can come inside absolutely come inside so the last video is going to be the ideas and the future of the pharmacy business and that's also very very important and that is where do we see the pharmacy what's the future of the pharmacy there's my nieces and nephews who are here hello you can say hello to the camera say hello hello good you're saying hello so back where we need to be today's video is all about the why why should you set up a pharmacy i want to discuss the cons first and then talk about the benefits of setting up a pharmacy I think the first thing that you need to understand is anything you do in life is not easy. That is from, I'll give you a simple example. Can you imagine that the entire process of fertilization, and this is not a video that we're discussing biology, but even your sperm to actually fertilize the egg has to go through so much hard work. So from the day that you were actually born or from the day that the egg was fertilized, it's always been hard work. So even setting up a pharmacy business is not easy. So keep that in mind that it's not going to be easy. Do not expect to wake up and everything is smooth. These hairs haven't gone white because of age. These hairs have gone white because of stress. So I'm telling you straight up, that is not easy to set one up. Having said that, it doesn't mean that it's impossible and it doesn't mean that it is difficult. It's just not easy because you have to push yourself. It's like weight loss. Anything in life, even if you want to lose weight, it's not difficult, it can be done. But it requires you to put effort it requires you to push yourself. So that was one of the things that I want to mention. And there's my piece of paper. So effort, I've explained that briefly. Risk. Now look, in anything you do in life, whether that's me standing here shooting a video, whether that's me going outside for a walk, exercising, lifting dumbbells, whatever it might be, there is always a risk in life in anything you do. The key thing that you have to remember is how you mitigate the risk and how you manage the risk. That's important for you. So yes, all of these points that I'm saying they can be treated as negatives, but we can put a spin on this and see how we can do it positive. So the first two things I've mentioned to you is effort. You have to put effort in. And for some of you, that's a bit of a negative. Some of you don't want to put the effort in. Some of you don't want to go that extra mile, but it's something that's required. Number two is going to be risk. In anything in life, you have to 
Um, you have to accept that there's going to be risk and what we need to discuss is how we manage that risk and that's what this video series is about. So you can learn from the mistakes that I've made. I've not done everything right. Some things I've done have been good. Some things I've done that are not so good. You are now, by watching this video, actually mitigating risk, which is absolutely amazing. So that's the two things there. Then what we're discussing is time. Absolutely. You know, I've landed myself in a divorce and that's because of time. Not being able to commit to my family, not being able to commit to my, my business property, whatever it might be. It requires time, it requires effort. So understand this, it's like a baby. Day and night, you have to work on this business. I get people ask me all the time and they say, what if I was to set up a pharmacy business, but I would work part time elsewhere and then invest time in this? It doesn't work. It can't work. You have to dedicate time full time to this business. And that means making some decisions, not landing yourself in a divorce. That's not what I'm saying. But it means you being realistic with yourself and managing that time and understanding that it is going to require you to dedicate time and your family, all those who are around you need to be supportive of that. Otherwise, it is difficult to achieve anything on your own. And I just don't feel that as humans, as people, we can achieve things as efficiently, as much as we can alone. It requires a group of people and they need to be on your side. Stress, absolutely, with any business, whether it's making a video, whether it's TikTok, whether it's setting up a pharmacy business, there's always stress. So we've got to talk about how to manage stress. We've got to talk about how you're going to mitigate stress and how you're going to take things as a pinch of salt and not take things too seriously. There's actually a great book that my colleague Farouk actually recommended to me. It's by Dale Carnegie. Is that the name? Dale, I think it's Dale Carnegie. And it talks about how to stop worrying and start living. So if you're suffering with stress, really I'd recommend watching the audio or the video file or reading that book. It will really help you. It's by Dale Carnegie. It's called How to Stop Worrying and How to Start Living. I think that's going to be fantastic. So that's about stress. And then there is absolutely no guarantees. There is no guarantee that this business idea that you have is absolutely going to work. There's no guarantee it's going to work. So, what have we discussed? A couple of points. Number one, we spoke about risk, that there's a risk. But you're going to mitigate that risk. We spoke about effort. My question to you is, you know, you have this wonderful chance in this world to make a difference, not only to your life, but the lives of others. Why not make the effort? We spoke about time and time management is important in life. We all have 24 hours in the day. So how do we use that time is going to be important. We spoke about effort. We spoke about stress, how you manage stress. Again, that's important. And there are no guarantees, but there's nothing guaranteed in life. The only thing that's guaranteed in life is death. And that's pretty much it. Everything else is not guaranteed. But that's enough of all the stress and all the negative stuff. Let's have a look at some of the most positive things on why I feel you should set your pharmacy up. So let's have a brief look what we've written here. All right. Number one, pushing yourself. I'm a firm believer that you should push yourself. I'm a firm believer as people we should grow. I'm a firm believer that we should make a difference to not only our lives, but the lives of others as well. So that's important and that is about pushing yourself. And that's why I feel you should open up your own community pharmacy because you can challenge yourself. And believe me, that feeling of being, achieving something, that feeling of that, that satisfaction you get when you open your pharmacy, trust me, there's nothing like it. That's a thing there. Then I want to mention is about making a difference to the lives of others. You'll soon realize that when others are happy, when you're giving value to others and not expecting something in return, it makes a totally difference to, to the way you feel in terms of your happiness and so on. So I would say another reason to set one up because you're going to affect other people's lives in a positive way. Think about it. You open your pharmacy, you're employing staff, you're paying salaries. You're helping their families and their families and their families. So again, that's very, very important for you to remember. And then financial freedom. For some of you, it's going to be financial freedom. That actually, by opening up my own pharmacy, I can earn more income. I can earn more salary. I can build an asset and that asset can work 24 hours in a day. Well, you can only work eight hours, nine hours, 10 hours. So again, very, very important. Another reason. But if you asked me, why did I set up a community pharmacy? Honestly, Farouk, you've asked me that question before. I don't know. It was simply because I was a pharmacist and it made sense to open up a pharmacy. That was it. At that time, 10, 12 years ago, I didn't have the entire understanding of why I wanted to set one up. And Simon Sinek talks about the why. If you're not aware, I'd recommend having a look at that video where he speaks about it's more 
than just doing things for the sake of it. The why is important. Why are you setting something up? And I've given you some reasons to why I feel to set one up. But I started the pharmacy business or was in this industry going back around 20, 30 years ago. You know, I'm, well, I can't say 30 years, about 20 plus years ago, I started working in boots. And I'm very thankful for the experience that I have as I started working as a 15, 16 year old in boots. And that was what I started. I started to learn about customer service. I started to learn about business, about staff, working with people. That was where my journey started. After that, I went on to study pharmacy in Leicester. And that was an amazing experience. So I learned about pharmacy and the, the knowledge that I needed in terms of medical knowledge, in terms of the profession is what I gained from the pharmacy, from the university itself. And then what I always knew is if I wanted to set this pharmacy up, I need to make sure I mitigate risk. And what I did, thankful to a, one of my mentors, a friend, Taufik, who owns a local pharmacy in Oxford, he gave me the opportunity to work within a pharmacy. He taught me everything from reading financials, ordering stock, managing a pharmacy business, the pros, the cons, the mistakes, everything he taught me. And again, we spoke about risk. I managed that risk by spending at least a year learning about the pharmacy business. And at that time, I, I, took, I took a risk in the sense that I reduced my salary. That was the conversation we had. I was getting paid a lot less than what I could have earned, but I was more interested in knowledge. For me, knowledge is worth a lot more than any other asset that you can have, whether that's money. For me, knowledge, priceless. You know, we invest in the new car and the new phone, but what you should be investing in is here, knowledge. So that's, that's my opinion. And so then I went on to spend time learning about the pharmacy business. But as you know yourself, until you're not in the mix of it, you don't really realize what it's like and what it's worth. Then I set up my first pharmacy in Bista. It's a 100 hour pharmacy. I was working eight in the morning to 11 at night, seven days a week. And that is where I was just learning on the job itself. I made mistakes. We were close to bankruptcy. We brought it back up again. You know, we went on then set up a second pharmacy in Oxford itself, which is a 40 hour contract. So in these 10, 15 years, I have learned a lot. But I tell you the most that I learned is when we were so close to bankruptcy, I learned everything about finances. How to read a balance sheet, company accounts, getting funding, asset, debits, creditors, everything I'm gonna to explain to you, everything that I know. The max that I know, I will share with you. Not everything I'm saying you have to agree with, not everything I'm saying you have to disagree with. But if there is something that you can resonate with, take it in and use it. So that is a bit about myself. And as I explained to you, this video series is specially made for you. We're going to be breaking it down. So I've explained to you in terms of why you should consider setting one up. We spoke about the pros. We spoke about the cons. I want to again invite you to again subscribe, like and share this video itself. And in the next video, I'm going to start to break it down even further about this entire concept of how you set this pharmacy up. Thank you for watching and let's together build a better world and let's make a difference in not only our lives, but in the lives of others. Thank you for watching.